are here with Myrtle Smith at her lovely home to talk about uh, the angel of Thanksgiving because she had quite a hand to do with it. My name is Myrtle Smith. I was reared right here in Belfast. I'm a Christian science practitioner and lecturer. And when I was lecturing, I was asked to help a woman who was very sick. She had been very sick for seven years and uh, she wasn't expected to get better. And I brought her home to my house. And while she was in my house, um, I gave her some articles to read and she read one and it says, gratitude, not grievance. And she got very excited about this and I told her about the power of gratitude that it was a great power. And I told her to write out a list of all the things she was grateful for. She amazed me. She had written almost a book full of gratitude things that she was grateful for. And I thought I was great because I had written a page. And she, her gratitude was so wonderful that um, she, she immediately began to get better. And she was completely healed of, of, of her illness. And when her husband came home, he was away in Brussels on business, and when he came home, she ran down my steps to meet him. And I said to him, if gratitude can do that for one person, what could it do for this city of ours? When I went to Boston, I asked, did anybody know anything about Thanksgiving Square in Dallas? And this woman said, oh, I know all about it. She said, I know the man who started it. And she phoned him up and told him about me. And he immediately said, you must come and see it. And I didn't like to say I didn't have the money. And uh, I said, oh, maybe next time. And I put the phone down. And he rang me back in about an hour and he said, well, we'll buy you a ticket if you come and we'll buy you a ticket home. And so I went to Thanksgiving Square in Dallas and I was so impressed. They have a beautiful building and a waterfall and people can go in every day and give thanks to whatever God they believe in. And I thought, how wonderful if I could have that for Belfast. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise to change the original intent became changed through various bureaucratic and, and political situations and uh, financial. This, I suppose, would be where the design itself really began to take shape. And you can see in these sketches, uh, I, I quite enjoy showing people these sketches because you can now compare this directly to what we actually have that take on the shape of the uh, of the sculpt. This was way back in uh, maybe 99 or the year 2000 perhaps. Um, but at the bottom of the sculpture we have the bronze globe. Uh, it's a globe of the planet Earth, the world that we all live in. And that, uh, for me, was to somehow try and symbolise the all-encompassing or the global nature of the concept of thanksgiving and of peace and reconciliation. But what I did was I took it a step further, and on that globe I have marked out various uh, cities around the planet where the, um, the industries of Belfast and the North of Ireland and also the people uh, either exported or migrated to. I contacted a couple of historians over here in Belfast and they gave me lists of the various cities and uh, some, some you'd expect like Boston and New York and some fairly unusual like Rio de Janeiro and Buenos Aires which are all featured in the uh, industrial history of, of Belfast and the north of Ireland. The figure spirals upwards as you can see from the top of the globe and that spiralling movement has two meanings, not only indicating uh, aspiration or, or rising above uh, the past, or rising from the past, but also um, it symbolises or it relates to the architectural building in the original Thanksgiving Square in, in Dallas, Texas. Kept us away with One day uh, we were having a, a lunch at Laganside to say goodbye to us. It, it, it was all over, and the day before the lunch was was happening, I was feeling very depressed, and the telephone went, 
and it was a woman from Baltimore. And she said, we're going to have a Thanksgiving square in Baltimore, and we wonder if you would come and talk to us about it. And she said, how is your Thanksgiving square, by the way? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, we're, we're tying it all up tomorrow because we can't get the money. And she asked us how much we needed. And I told her, and she said, I'll call you back in a little while. And she called me back in an hour, and she gave me 30,000 pounds. And that was us on the way again. We had a promise made for hands and then away, both under influence. We had divine We were always interested in the project. It was always going to be a very, very complex project, but we thought this could be a really exciting uh, piece of work for Belfast. Okay. So we wanted to get involved, and really we, we sort of kind of chased after the uh, after the, the, the project um, and uh, really hung in, and we were assessed by Andy Scott and also by the committee, and Myrtle was out to see us as well. The star issue which was whenever we put the the arms and the ring on the arms we had a lot of flexibility and movement she was almost like a human being so what we had to do was we had to brace the shoulder bones in terms of putting in tendons and, and muscles she was always almost like a human being to take that whiplash out but the result was this, you know it's a fantastic piece of uh, artwork to call for hands one particular group in the community, the young people and the younger generations in Northern Ireland. How do you think they can contribute to this? Well, I think they're very impressed with the statue. They, they see her as a work of art, you know, and uh, they're very impressed with the statue. But I would like to talk to young people to, to get them more involved. And uh, they're our future. They're our future and we want them to change their thought from, the, the, the thought in Belfast used to be, oh poor us and the world owes us a living America, we'll have to give more money. And if we stop thinking like that and start thinking about what we have to be thankful for, then things can change. Simple touch, one night to push and 